Hello everyone, this is a video tutorial on how to use floating license for MG Tools and MG Pico Studio. So since MG Tools version 3.1 and later and MG Pico Studio version 1.6 and later version, um, both programs all support floating license. So you can log in and log out in any machine to use these plugins. So uh, first thing you need to do is to download MG Tools latest version or Pico Studio latest version. You go to the uh, website and go to the download tab and click this link to download latest version. Same thing apply to the uh, Pico Studio. Also you need to download the uh, latest MG license connector. This is a standalone program you run in the local site to connect and use your floating license. So both uh, MG Tools and MG Pico Studio shares the exactly same MG license collector, so they both share the same program to connect to the floating license. Okay, um, so here I already download the zip packages uh, for MG Tools package and Pico Studio, and then a floating license connector program. Uh, for Pico Studio and MG Tools, you need to install them to Maya. So the first thing you need to do is to unzip these packages to folders, and then uh, start installing the programs to Maya. So first, uh, install MG Tools. Next, next, next. And then here you can just install as a full server program. This is a latest uh, option that only available in version 3.1. So after installation, um, no file be copied to local script folder. So the program is invoked as is in this uh, folder. Okay, so just install. It should be pretty fast. And for this register dialog. Okay, and now we install MG Pico Studio. Do not copy involve the program in place. Uh, install. Okay, so um, for for floating license uh, programs, I just need to unzip it and then. Uh, double click this MG license connector to run it. It should be up and running already. Um, um, here is a UI you use to uh, log in and log out. Use your uh, username and password. If you check on the remember me, next time you don't need to input the password again. It will remember the password for you. Um, so here I log in. Uh, this is the information be displayed when you uh, successfully log in. So for Picker Studio, you just click this button and switch to the Picker Login UI. Email, and then the password, and then remember, and then login. Okay. So now MG Tools, and MG Picker Studio are logging into the floating license, but uh, the MG Picker Studio and MG Tools in Maya. Uh, is not locking. So we have to, for first time, we need to, uh, for MG Tools, you go to the right click on the first icon and floating license login. So uh, for the first time, uh, it will ask you to pick the executable uh, for the license collector because you don't know where this program is. So we just um, Pick this MG license connector.exe in Windows. Okay, so just pick. So um, now it already logged in. So we check out the floating license and uh, the about MG Tools. It said MG Tools Pro floating license. So um, because we already logged in in this connector, so once this client tools plugins connect to this connector, uh, you will know that oh, uh, you are already logging into the floating license. So it's here if I say log out, and soon MG Tools will become a normal low lock license. Here we got a trial license. Um, so you can do that again. Um, floating license logging, you just need to type the password again and 
quick login because you already log out so the uh, password is cleared so we have to input that again so in logging again so soon mg2 also become uh, in the floating license state okay so for picker studio you need to switch to the designer mode using fa hockey so um, check out the top right corner little red dot you just need to click this button and then go to the floating license login so because um, MG Tools already know about where is the connector. That way, Picker Studio also know about the where is the connector. So it will connect to the uh, connector and which already log in the MG Picker. So it's become a green dot indicating that the program is already registered. So if you click this dot again, it becomes a floating license logout. So if I click logout, it will log out the Picker Studio. So we need to type in the password again, login. This is how the floating license work. And you can close this connector. It won't actually quit, but it's just uh, become a small icon in the tray, in the system tray. So anytime you can just right click on this and then restore. One thing I would like to mention is uh, once uh, you run the connector from this uh, menu and from this menu uh, it knows where the connector is so next time Maya notes and the tools knows uh, it will already uh, load up the connector program in the background so you don't need to pick the uh, connector again another thing I want to mention is um, in this connector UI need to input the password frequently um, say if each day uh, you log in and log out after work um, so it's not convenient to uh, retyping this password again and again so you can just check on the remember me option to remember your password but um, a better way is to use MG license protector which is available uh, with the connector program so you can run this program and what it does is um, it will ask you to input some information and you can save it as an encrypt license file and put it in the right folder and it will be picked up by license connector that way you don't need to input this password and username okay so uh, for license protector uh, the first thing you need to do is to switch the project so um, afterward it was generate some server files so the server file is um, for MG tools it's a type of file and for picker is another type of file so you need to specify the picker or MG tools here and then we input the username here and every time you create the license file or edit the license file you need to input the password again and then um, say I ignore all these things and then just save as um, in order to this uh, license file to take effect and pick up automatically by connector we need to save it here so we need to create a folder called license so be careful this is a L I N C N C E S. so um, we need to save the files here save it so we got a, a mg tools leak file uh, which contain the necessary uh, information to use your floating license so now we can just go to the connector and go to the logging out logging all server license so we already detect oh there's a mg tools license file I can just use it to log in. So for Picker, it's not find any license file that, that for uh, Picker Studio, so it's not logging. So we can just continue to switch to Picker, uh, which shares uh, the same account information in this case, and then just save. Uh, we should use save as, and then um, just save it. Okay, so now if we quit 
for the connector and every time we load up the connector it will find that license file and pick up and then log in. For license protection, uh, you can also add more information or limitation to your license file so your license file is not abused uh, even if it's leaked or be copied some uh, by somebody. So um, to edit the uh, exit uh, license file, we just load up the protector again and go to the file and then just drag in to edit the, um, the license file. So every time you edit a license file, you need to uh, retype in the password. Without a password, uh, you cannot save any edit. Okay, so here we got a lot of limitations to be set up. Say um, the license the, the license file will be used in a company uh, production context. For company property, uh, we don't want the license file be copied outside the company and be used anywhere else. So we need to constrain that uh, the license file is only available to be connected or used within the studio. So if your studio have some static public public IP available, so uh, you can just input that IP here and then any machine that use these license files can only be connected to the floating license using this global IP. So for user code, uh, one user code is standing for the one computer. So for MGPK Studio, um, you need to connect the um, user code for the client side, which is um, go to help and register and this is the user code. So this user code stands for this local machine. So we can just connect this user codes and then go to the projector go to projector and input the user code and edit so once you add any user code only that computer uh, can connect to the uh, floating license okay so um, there's also a data range so you can decide say uh, you are just a financer in the studio uh, starting from maybe uh, this date and maybe to that date so if you add this range, um, your license file is only available within this date. So multiple date range can be inserted and as long as the current date is falling in any of this date range, the, um, the license file can be used. Okay. So using these limitations, uh, you can protect your uh, license file not being abused by somebody else. Okay, here comes the last tip and tricks on how to use floating license. Um, it's about uh, set up the position of the connector in server side so that every user that uses MG Tools or Pico Studio don't need to pick the license connector at the first run. So uh, here's how you can do it. First make sure that MG Tools and MG Picker Studio are installed in the server mode. So uh, it's not copied to the local script folder, it's using the uh, programs in the server. So uh, assume uh, this is the server folder and we put the Picker Studio here and then the MG Tools here. So for MG Tools, in order to set up the uh, position of the connector you go to the MG Tools and go to the MG Tools server data and double click to edit this file so here we got connector directory and you can just input the absolute path to the connector so here we can um, go to the you just copy this folder and paste here and save this file. So um, any crime machine that uses server mode to install this program, I mean MG Tools, uh, it will know where the connector is. Um, for MG Picker Studio, you go to the Picker Studio folder and then program folder and then go to the 
um, server config and double click this license connector so again you can just input this path so with this be set up um, anytime uh, a crime machine that invoke the program here uh, it will pick up the uh, connector correctly so animator don't need to manually pick up the connector program and once they hit the login the first time here and here it knows and where the connector is and load up the connector and they are ready to um, use the floating license providing that uh, you set up the providing that you set up the uh, server license file already so basically animator or MG tools or picker studio user don't need to do anything uh, you can set up all this for them thank you